We've parked our car at the green in Chatham, Kent. We're heading towards Chatham Hatch, following the North Downs Way into Canterbury. And then from Canterbury, we're gonna follow the river walk back towards Chatham and make it around. This is a new walk for us, so we don't know what to expect. Just before we start, we'll show you this house. So we head forward up the green, past the telephone box, and then we turn right just before the bridge. It's a no through road, but this takes us on our, on our path. It's called Riverside. We cross over the railway line. We walk forward on the road with the river on our left hand side. Walk to the end of the cottages and you'll see your public footpath sign. Turn right there up to the main road. When you go into the gate at the bottom, you'll find it's an orchard. Bear to your left hand side, the top corner on your left, you'll come to the gate. Go straight over the road into the field at the other side. Head straight up the field to the top right hand corner. You'll come out onto the road. At the road, you turn left and cross over the railway line. Just before the railway line, we look to our left hand side. We cross over the railway line, walking slightly uphill, heading towards Charter Match. 100 yards uphill past the railway line, we turn right, public footpath sign. We come up into a field and head forward. You walk across a couple of fields and that brings you out into the orchards and they're absolutely packed with apples. Look to our left hand side and there's the tops of like five oast houses there. We walk forward to the road over the stile and turn right. There's an orchard at the other side as well. Just at the entrance of the pub we see a sign telling you all about Canterbury Tales and the North Down way to Canterbury. And then we just take a quick shot of it. We're just walking through Charter Match. Pub's on our left hand side. We walk to the end of the road, it's called New Town Street, and then turn left. You'll see the signpost for North Downs Way. You'll see a sign in front of you that says Nightingale Close. And just to the left of there, you've got the path. Heading down an alleyway between the houses, we cross over a road, Another hundred yards, bearing slightly right, we come to a park. We walk to the right hand side of the park. We've got North Downs Way and a sign saying No Man's Orchard. That's where we're going. We've just come to the end of the play park on our left hand side. We're heading forward downhill slightly through a bit of a wood. We walk to the end of the wood and we come out into No Man's Orchard Nature Reserve. We're heading forward now. We're going towards Canterbury. As we walk forward, we look to our right hand side and we see this giant snake in the grass. It's a sculpture, but you know, it's quite good. And as you walk through on your left hand side, there's a plaque telling you about Norman's Orchard. It was planted in 1947 and it's basically about supporting the old apple varieties. You maybe can't see them flying around, but I've got about 20 or 30 giant dragonflies, about two and a half inch long here. We've just got a green woodpecker fly across the front of us. We couldn't get it, we heard his screeching, but no chance. We keep pressing on. We've come to the end of the orchard and we're back into the woods again, following the North Downs way. You're walking with a taxi driver today. As you walk through, you'll see there's a tiny bit of coppice in either side of the path, probably to keep the way open. We head forward through the wood. As we head forward along the track, we've got an old settlement on our right hand side called Bigbury. There's not a lot that appears to be left there except for the earthworks, so we leave that. But there's no to stop you coming out and look. We just keep heading forward through that little gap in the trees. We just keep following the track through the woods. We keep going through the wood till we meet the road and then we turn left, walk over the A2 and then we're looking to turn right and walk down the side of the A2 on the footpath. We've just crossed over the A2, we've turned immediate right, signpost says Canterbury, two mile. We head forward, ignore any path off to your left, just keep heading forward. You've got the A2 on your right hand side and eventually the path veers off to your left downhill. You'll see that funny shaped tree 
Go under there. You're on the right path. We're just going downhill slightly through like an arch of trees covered in ivy. We keep heading forward downhill and we come to like a tiny crossroads of paths. But we go straight over, over the little bridge. It's got a blue arrow, North Downs way. As we're walking along, we're going slightly uphill, not a lot. We look to our left hand side through the hedge and we can see apple orchards there, look. We keep walking uphill until we come to a tarmac track. We keep heading forward. We just keep walking down the tarmac road. The signpost says Canterbury, so we're following the signs. Head forward to the roundabout. You'll see the Victoria Hotel at the far side of the road. We cross over to that side and walk down London Road towards the centre of Canterbury now. At the end of the road, you'll see the Monument Pub and the church. We turn right there. We're just heading forward through the archway there, look. The archway was called Westgate and we're looking to the left hand side and the river flows in front of it. We're just going to take the odd shot in Canterbury when we can, there's tourists everywhere. We've walked through Westgate and we're heading towards the cathedral now. As we walk through we can see there's another little river goes through the middle, so we take a quick shot. We're just down a side street now and that's in front of us, looks pretty good. And when we look closer we realise it's the entrance to Canterbury Cathedral, but we're not going in there today because we haven't got time. And we can just see the tower at the back. Well we've had a little look in the main street of Canterbury. We've made our way back towards the west gate and we're turning left along the river now. And here we've got where the boatmen do their uh, trade. We're just following the river on the left hand side. We just stood in front of the guild hall. So we're going to follow the Stour Valley Walk now back to Chartham. So we're just walking along the river at the moment. As you walk along on your left hand side you've got a load of gardens in front of you. And if you think the bench is probably six feet long, probably the width of this is 10 to 12 feet. It's incredible. And there it is again looking across the lawns. We follow the river path for a short way and eventually we come to a bridge. We cross over the bridge, walk forward so the river's on our left hand side. As we walk forward through the park we spot this little flower bed. They look all like English wildflowers to me but uh, we're not sure but they look very nice. We're just following the river on our left hand side and keep an eye out for any wildlife. They're just feeding there on the weeds. Looks like we've got a pair of them here. Very tame. Well, we'll keep going. As we walk along following the path, we go under an old railway arch. We just keep heading forward. We've got like seats and tables on our right hand side for a picnic if you want one. We've just passed part of the old railway bridge where the seat was. We're heading forward going under the road bridge now. As we walk along we look to our right hand side and these look like highland cattle there look with the long horns there. And then just behind I can see a heron in the tree so let's see if we can get him. Yep, there he is. Well, we'll leave that for now. We've just come under the A2 and we're following the tarmac cycle track back towards Chartham. We look to our left hand side and we like a bit of a church building on our left, I think, and a farm in front. And we've got donkeys and 
farm animals there. It looks quite nice. We've just come through Hambrook Marshes. We've got our bridge on our left hand side. We just cross over the little path and head straight forward where that cycle's going. He's heading towards Chatham. So we're heading forward. We've got Tonford Lakes on our right hand side and the river on our left and the houses. And the railway on our right hand side, far side at Lakes. The Lakes on our right hand side as we go towards Chatham. We just thought we'd give you a little look. And here we've got the river on our left hand side. We're just heading forward now. And as you walk along on your left hand side, you'll see this fantastic thatch cottage. And we've got like a scarecrow with a carrot nose in front. Looks a bit like Wurzel Gummidge, but it's beautiful. There's like a nice wide open space now between the river and the ponds. And we've got the sheep grazing in front of us. We just keep heading forward. As we walk along, we look along the ponds, we look to our right. And we can see like a host house in the distance and a farm. And there's the setting. Beautiful part of Kent is this. And we've got people cycling down the track. There's a fair few using this track. It looks quite new because we can't find it on our ordnance map and the new maps. So this maybe hasn't been here that long. Beautiful though. What a setting. It looks like we're coming towards a road bridge now. I think we go straight under, but we don't know because this is a new walk for us, so we're going to have a look. Look at that, we've got uh, some tufted ducks on the ponds and we've got a grebe there, look. Oh, there's two grebes coming. There's two more coming in from the right. There they are, there's two of them back up again. We're with this three all together. Yeah, we think the Greaves is three all together. There we are. Oh, so a couple of them are chicks by the look of it. There's the setting. I think we'll leave it at that. Yeah, so we cross under the road bridge. It all looks pretty nude as this. So we've gone under the bridge and made our way along the cycle path back towards the river. We're heading towards Chatham now. Got two coots here in the reeds. In fact, there's plenty of wildlife along here. We're just heading forward now. We're not far off Chatham. We're nearly back at Chatham now. We see a house on our left-hand side. 100 feet further on, we see like a tiny stream coming in. It looks as if it's been dammed off, but that's a nice setting with the trees and the water coming underneath. And just to the right-hand side of there, we've got like a bench made of fallen branches. Well, we're back into Chatham now. We're coming up to the road now, bridge on our left. We turn right there. As we turn right into Chatham, we've the car park on our right hand side. We look to our left hand side, we've got the church and we walk forward on the left hand side of the church. We walk through the churchyard and bear slightly left. You've got the green and the post box on your right hand side. Well, here we are, we're back at the green in Chatham. We hope you've enjoyed our walk from Chatham, Chatham Arch, North Downs Way, into Canterbury, round. You've been walking with a taxi driver today.